So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to uh, another episode of Master League. If you haven't seen that last video, ooh, ridiculous folks, ridiculous. These games are intense. I, you know, I like to I like to bring you guys along for the ride. You know, if this if you are new to this channel, um, let me tell you this much first of all. First of all, subscribe if you like the video, give it a smash, the old thumbs up. But yeah, I like to show a lot of highlights in my games. You know, I've watched other YouTubers, even FIFA ones especially, they just literally show the goals. It's like, goals, 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 then they move on to the next match. And it's like, I just find that boring. You know, you want to see me mess up. You want to see me miss chances. You want to see me score, of course. But you want to see everything happening. So that's kind of what I like to showcase. If I play terribly, you guys are going to see me play terribly bad. But, uh... Today's a big one. Today is a big one. We are taking on Inter Milan um, back at home, but there's going to be a slight alteration in the formation. Kind of looking at Inter's setup here, playing that 5-3-2, which will change to sort of a 3-5-2 as they attack. I'm going to be playing a straight up 3-5-2. We're going to try it. I know I tried this one time before and it didn't work the best, but I'm going to give it a shot. I have used this formation with Juventus quite a few times. Now, granted, they've got Bonucci and uh you know delict and just a better defensive lineup but i do like having three center backs there's more cover so we're gonna have those three with holgate mina and keen unfortunately today a lot of players are down um alan's gonna come into the middle andre gomez is captain because he gets a little bit of a boost uh with richarlison playing as an amf today because look barrios is down james rodriguez is down david's down this is why it's so annoying when some of your best players are not on form and it will make a difference. And Babu's going to start on the right today as, a, as a, a winger or more of a right mid. But he will be up and down like that. That's basically how he's going to be playing. Because his stamina is an 89. Sebastian Villa will be a little bit different because he hasn't quite got the stamina. What is his stamina, by the way? An 80. But he'll still be up and down when he can. And then we'll, we'll see how Richarlison does with Luigi and Calvert-Lewin starting up top. There we have it. All right. So there we go. Hope you guys do enjoy today's match today's video and hopefully it won't be too bad but we if we can win today remember that's three wins out of three in the champions league that's what we're looking for let's do it so here we are match day number three of the group stage so far everton two wins out of two into milan i believe have I don't know, actually. I think a win and a draw or a win and a defeat, one or the other. I know they beat Real Madrid or Real Madrid beat them. No, Real Madrid did beat them. So Inter have one win, one defeat. If Everton can get something on the board today, obviously at home, they'll be looking to grab those three points. But it's a change of formation. What with a couple of players being out with a 3-5-2. And Inter Milan expect them to be, well, quite defensive as well, being... That's the Italian style of play. But here we go. But Luigi, the manager of Everton, knows all about the likes of Lukaku. Alexis Sanchez, Ashley Young. As uh, he has, of course, managed them in the past. Back in his Manchester United days. And here is Everton now. Can they get a good start to this one? Not a great start in the last couple of matches. They would expect more. Anyway, a chance early on possibly for Richarlison, who was just about to hit it. And Luigi nipping out the hills. A rarity to see. Well, Luigi... That's ah, not a great pass there, but Luigi and Calvert-Lewin both playing together. Kamara looks like he's been uh, snapped up from Marseille. And he's gone to Inter Milan. Ericsson towards uh, Barella. Lukaku could be a problem for Everton. So they have to make sure that they uh, stay close to him. Ball's fed up the line. It is uh, Alexi Sanchez with an attempt. And the deflection actually kind of helped out Olsen in the end. As Olgate lays it off to uh, Mbabu playing on the, the right-hand side as he normally does. But a little bit more freedom for him to get up and down the flanks today. They're going to need that width and they can possibly uh, push players up there. Here is Key. Calvert-Lewin back towards him. Back up the line. Calvert-Lewin once more. A little deft touch inside towards uh, Vila. Loves a good dribble, Vila. And the referee will uh, bring that back for the foul. 
And we know how good Everton are from the set pieces, but there's no Hammers today, there's no Dinya. So it's probably going to be someone else on the cards. Ericsson, the culprits. Well, Luigi Jr. is the man on a mission. He scored the other day. Can he score in the Champions League as well? That's the big question for him. Having a, a nice look here, 26 metres out. The question is, how is that the elevation? It was a decent attempt, but just a little bit too close to the goal in the end by Mr. Number 14 with the swagalicious hairband. But yeah, just too close to the goal, he wasn't it? Needed to be more in the left. Put up the light, Ronald Lukaku feeding out wide to Hakimi. Barella. There's that Vidal. Alexis Sanchez with the effort, but once again the defending by Everton was good. That's one thing they will have today with those three centre backs. There's a lot of cover if needed. It's a lovely little touch there. Richarlison couldn't feed it up the line. Ashley Young finds Alexis Sanchez again. Vidal. Well done, Richarlison. Now this is a chance for the counter here. Richarlison, Calvert Lewin towards Mbabu. Barella comes across. Richarlison. Luigi. Just looking to lay that one off. Allen. Good play. Should have been a foul ref. Decided not today, boys. Not going to get another foul. We've already had one. That's enough. As we are 18 minutes played. Would a 1-1 be a good result today for the Toffees? It wouldn't be a bad result. But they are playing at home, so if they get those three points today, they put themselves in a fantastic position to qualify to the knockout stages. And Lukaku was nearly up there with a header. No one is closing Alexis down. Against Richarlison. Barella. Good possession this by the Italian side, but too much in the end and Sebastian Vietz trying to find Calvert-Lewin but could only find a black shirt in the end but he's done really well to win it back here's Allen now bit of a loose ball there it's a bit sloppy by Everton in the middle and now the ball's been fed out wide and Alexi Sanchez my own fault my own fault sloppy play <sighs> it was a good finish I mean it was a good finish not gonna lie but this ball right here what are you playing at Sebastian and then actually it was Andre Gomez sorry what are you doing Andre and then we're too wide why are we so wide stay on him so we have an opening goal and it is for the Italian side of Inter Milan not great play there by Everton defending was not good and uh, neither was the play at the back although Richarlison comes right back into the mix but we may have to change it at half-time if this two up top isn't working because we're not creating enough right now. And maybe we need a, a little bit more defensive cover. Ashley Young skips past one challenge. Holgate gets there first. Andre Gomez. Now Ashley Young's out of position. So this is a chance here if Mbabu can keep the strength going. And he's done well. Fallen back towards Luigi, but... Just couldn't get a second bite at it, and Babu has run off the field. Well, Ashley Young said, here you go, and Babu, have another go, son. Gomez. Richarlison. Via. Mm, not the pass we wanted there, that should have been to Richarlison. Cover by Allen was a good one. Richarlison once more. Calvert-Lewin, lovely ball. It's Sebastian Villa! That will do! Love it, boys! Absolutely love the interplay. And we are back level. And that celebration isn't bad too either, is it? A little bit of the old Irish jig. Fantastic, fantastic. And it was the vision here. Alan read it first of all. It was Richarlison to Calvert-Lewin. That's the ball. And when you go for a clearance like that... You know, it's a shocker, isn't it? Is he really going to clear it like that? It's a spectacular clearance. It's gone horribly wrong. Right there. Bang. Missed it. Great touch. And uh, a cool, calm finish. Back level. We're just going to absolutely fire this one in. We're going to fire this one in. We're going to see if this works. Andre Gomez towards the near post. Not quite today. Although Allen's done well and unbelievable, isn't it? Your own player runs into the ball saying that. Mina's now trying to stick to him. Skrinja it's going to be one minute of stoppage time 
you know, in a pretty even half, I'd say. Not tons of chances by any stretch, but overall uh, a relatively even match. And there we have it, half time. It is one apiece. The Alexis Sanchez finish ruled out by Sebastian Villa's equaliser. So away we go. We are going to leave it. We are going to leave it. I'm going to leave that 3-5-2, but it's more of a 3-6-1 right now. What I've done is push Luigi a little bit more into the, uh, well, the uh, attacking midfielder role. So we'll see what he can do. I actually quite like Richarlison playing in this AMF role. I feel like his quick feet is, is helping out quite a bit. Not the great pass there, Andre Gomez. Bit of a wasted there by you, son. And now a chance for Romelu Lukaku, but Keem is back very, very quickly and sharply. Here is Mbabu now. Gomez. Here is Luigi. So Luigi will kind of be picking this ball up when he can. In the middle, although that's been completely overshot towards Keeney. Vila. Charleston wants it. Holgate. This is what we need now. A little bit of possession for a while. Flicks it on. Luigi. Good feet, Luigi. Manages to keep it. He has seen the run here of Gomez. How's the finish? Oh, lucky. Nice play, Luigi. Get involved in there, son. Use the ability. Use the strength. Nice little square ball here. One touch. Rocket. It was heading in. It's a good save. Another corner. Another time to absolutely fire this one in. This time towards Calvert-Lewin. Ooh. A lot of oohs and ahs, but... Uh, yeah, Luigi wasn't far away, mate. This is a good start to the second half. That's what we need. A little bit more conviction, though, in that final third. And Danovic launching it clear. Vidal. Here is uh, Hakimi. The referee's not going to give the foul for that. Lovely little flick back towards Richarlison. Now this player's flooding forward. Richarlison. Well, he goes all the way because the defending is absolutely baffling. I've never seen it. I've never seen a defence part like the Red Sea. I'm not, I'm not going to stop. I'll take it all day. Thank you very much. Two goals to one. And Richarlison, I'll tell you what, I must have liking him as an AMF today. He's, he's doing the business. But look at this. Look at the defenders. Calvert-Lewin's pulling one defender. Luigi's got the other. And they all just run off. Well, there's going to be the title of today's video for you. Parted like the Red Sea. And look at this. Suddenly, the uh, the Toffees are looking for another one. Alexis. Inter lose today. Well, if Real Madrid win, Inter are going to need something special in those final couple of matches. And Babu, great play. And we'll take that foul right on the edge of the box as well. Luigi's curious about why the referee is wearing yellow today. Doesn't know, doesn't know at all, but it was a foul. You can see here, and Babu just about flicks this, and uh, he catches him between the, the Twig and Giggleberries. So Ashley Young has come off, and Senior's come on. There's a chance here as the ball's delivered in the oh, The big man! We knew it was going to happen, and we have turned this game on its head. From a goal down to 3-1. And look at the moves this big man can pull off. Cheeky, come on. Mental, absolutely mental. Look at the run, look at the power of the header as well. When you've got a guy that's about 6'4", 6'5", you deliver it into him. It's a great ball, and it's a great header. It's 3-1, folks. Now Andre Gomez looking back towards Luigi, couldn't quite win the header, but Richarlison's there, feeds it off. Calvert-Lewin again with his stick in the foot out lot that he seems to do all the time. Stop doing it, there's no need for it. You've still got to be concerned though with Inter because they still have the players to catch you on the break. Richarlison. Villa, back up the line, Richarlison again. And we'll take that ref. Just ran into me, ref. Doesn't want it. Now Romelu Lukaku to Hakimi. Lukaku again, feeds it inside. Sanchez, Andre Gomez today has been a different class. He really has. 
Good header, Luigi. Give it back to him. Lovely play. The Italian. Ooh, ah, looking to play it inside. Loose pass by Inter, and they're looking a little bit nervous now. They know today really is a must-win game for them. Can't afford to drop more points. Here is Luigi now. The Calvert Lewin's making the run up the line. Can he finish it? Nah, it was not a good finish at all, was it? Straight at the goalie. So the first change, Luigi Jr., who's going to get a standing ovation. How about that for you? Well done, mate. He had a decent game, Luigi. Did enough. And we're going to bring on Besic, can you believe that? But yes, he's coming on as a DMF. We're going to try and just hold the middle. Hold the middle. Well done, son. Well done. But it's not like Everton have scored three goals and shut up shot. They've still been trying to grab a fourth. And here is Insigne. Up against Holgate. Not the best pass in the world, but it somehow got towards him. Romelu Lukaku now. He's run straight into trouble. Keane flicks it away. Eriksen. That's a lovely pass up the line towards Hakimi. And Sebastian Villa. Really, really good play there. Trying to get it down with Calvert-Lewin. Didn't happen. Eriksen. This is more like Inter Milan. They've left it late for a quick flourish here. And Hakimi's run into trouble. Richarlison. Calvert-Lewin. Well, he could swing this round the other way. And why not? Lovely ball to Mbappé. It's him against Insigne. And they'll take the throw. And the final two changes for Everton. Gordon coming on along with Saar. And he can just bring this forward himself. Feed it through the middle. Oh, he's looking for Saar there. Flicked on. Got two minutes of stoppage time. Lukaku. Keane wanted to stay with him. Alexi Sanchez. That's comfortable for Olsen. And that will do as the referee blows for full time. Well, we'll take that. I mean, Inter, as we said, saw before, parted like the Red Sea. We had two goals in two minutes. Job done. And that is now nine points out of nine. We can't complain at all about it. And there's the shot count. Nine attempts to five. Man of the match today was Sebastian Vila. And Andre Gomez had a cracker as well. So the other results, uh, Shakhtar Donetsk winning four goals to two, Lazio winning one goal to nil there, Paris Saint-Germain drew, uh, Real Madrid did win, so that's going to make it interesting in the table. Liverpool drew against uh, Real Sociedad 2-2, Napoli winning 2-0 as well. Barcelona beating Montpellier, Ajax won 4-0 against Atletico Madrid, and Juventus beating Michelin. So there we go, folks. Pretty much now, if we can get a point against Inter, I think that would be enough to guarantee us at least a second. But anything could still happen. Anything could still happen. Elsewhere, there's a look at Real Sociedad leading the way. Liverpool second. You've got Zenit, St. Petersburg top. Chelsea second. Juventus first. Ajax second there. Atletico Madrid in third. Same points by Munich and Barca. Well, that group is very close and way closer than it should be. Uh, Club Bruges and Man City both with two wins. Shakhtar Donetsk, three out of three for them. Lazio in second. Paris Saint-Germain top. Dortmund in second. And there we go. All right, folks. Well, we're taking on now Aston Villa. And they are lying. Uh, where are they lying? Remember, we've got some big games coming up, folks. Once we get the easier match. Like, look, you may think right now we're not losing. But we haven't played any of the top teams. So we, we have to get as many points on the board as we can. Now, Aston Villa are lying in uh, 12th place. Two wins, one draw, three defeats. Uh, but yeah, we've got to try and keep pace. Man United of all teams. Who thought that would be the team? But I think Man United have made a, quite a few different purchases. So they've, they've bolstered the squad. Anyway, let's have a look at today. I think we may go back to... Uh, the 4-5-1 I'm not sure I know Luigi's up for it today that's kind of annoying I don't know I mean two minds we'll have to see but a lot actually look look at all the players on green fantastic all right let's uh, come up with a, a lineup and we'll return all right folks well we are going to go back to the 4-5-1 the I think it's going to suit today more uh, just because some defenders are down like uh, Keen. So, yeah, we're, gonna, we're just going to go back to that 4-5-1 type formation. It yeah, kind of changes. Uh, and, and we're going for a lot of players up for today. I know, you know, there's, the bench is pretty much neutral. 
I know Andre Gomez had a good match in the last game. Likewise, Richarlison. But we're going to try this because generally if the form's up you want to try and play them so Barrios, David and James and we've got Luigi I'm going to start him again we're going to keep growing this boy uh, Via on the right and Saar is going to be on the left and yeah I think that should very well be uh, enough enough quality there hopefully and there's a look at Aston Villa 4-3-3 kind of and They'll be up and down, up and down. All right, well, let's dive into it. Hope you guys do enjoy it. As always, these matches have been crazy lately, so we'll see how crazy things get. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you guys in the matchup. So here we are back in the Premier League. It's actually been a couple of matches since we've been in the Premier League. We've got the FA Cup, then of course the Champions League. And there's the sound effects, people. As they march their way out. Anyway, can we continue this form? I mean, and this is what we need to keep going. Keep the form going. We're back to uh, that 4-5-1. See how we do here against the Aston Villa. Who are lying around mid-table. Mid-table for them. So not a bad start to the season. Certainly could have uh, been a lot, lot worse. But Luigi Jr. back in the starting lineup yet again. He's getting a little bit more playing time. A little more confidence about him as well. As uh, Kenny does uh, exceptionally well there early on as he finds Sebastian Viet and uh, Everton. Yeah, they're just trying to find that, that little bit of a groove now, aren't they? Bit of consistency. They've come from behind in a couple of matches, so the willpower is still there. They certainly don't go down without a fight. Man United are very, very famous for doing that. Going behind and just somehow grinding out the results. You know, here is uh, Grealish. Could be a key player for Aston Villa today. Mings. Crowded out by a couple of blue shirts, but he's done well. House. Grealish. Back towards Mings. Grealish once again will look to deliver. He does, and it's a corner. A chance for Grealish to swing it in. Got Mina and Tarr as the, the two centre-backs today, so a lot of height available. And well done, Sebastian Villa does steal it now he's got players uh, going one way players going the other he was looking for Luigi and Luigi has stolen it can he finish oh I mean, he could have I mean could have maybe laid that square but no 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 when you're a forward and you're one-on-one -on -one with a goalie you go for it good consi good persistence by the young boy the chance for the corner the first one delivered in David oh what a save that is and it's 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 not gone in how on earth has that stayed out what well this is crazy you're gonna have to look at this again I've never seen this before watch this here we go David has a shot comes off the defender keeper makes the save there's already a player on the four on the on the turf the ball's cleared away it comes off the defender off Ming's ding dong as you can see there it's heading in the back of the net he sticks a foot out I mean that's not over the line by the way it's right there and then somehow he clears it away and they survive mental it's a good play by Annette needs to deliver does deliver good play by Kenny Hamis flicks it on Luigi dinks it back over the top Sebastian Villa no support for him may do it alone but House did well what was that you say his name House Horse built like a house but I do like these longer matches I mean uh, there's a, certainly a lot more chances as you know well done well done Mina oh, he's lost it oh he's won it he's lost it can't get rid of it Dinya towards the back post good header away David Barrios to find Saar I mean we're just going to calm this down now for a little bit and get uh, a little bit of uh, possession just try and open up Aston Villa when we can. Villa. He's getting more and more into it now. It took him a couple of matches, but we're starting to see that, that quality come through. Dinya, good play. Gets it on the left foot. Can deliver. Decides against it. But Saar will deliver it in. Luigi could have maybe gone for the bicycle kick there. David, too much by him. As soon as you do that move, you always know what's going to happen. 
So I don't know why we did it, but we did. Oh, Luigi's found some space. Can he finish it? Oh, the old bender was close. Veer against Mings. Veer does get there towards the back post, but there's no one there. And it's out for the throw. So a chance for Hamis. Delivers it in. Tar looks to flick it on. Cleared away. Sars there. Comes back towards Kenny. Oh, my goodness. Oh, if that had gone in, ladies and gents, you hit subscribe all day. Look at this for an effort. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I'm gutted that hasn't gone in. That's another corner, another set piece. Fired him once again. This time Barrios is up. Comes back to Villa. Oh, great feed by Villa. Oh, now it's going to be Hammers. Looking to get it on the left foot. Mm, yeah, I had two minds there. I hit L1 and R2 at the same time. We've got a bit of a combo going. But I'll tell you what, suddenly the game has changed now. Luigi lays it off, looking for Hammers. And just got to keep knocking on the door here. Watkins, Barkley. Aston Villa still have the class to, to score a goal, though. There's Grealish. Twist one way, then the other. Mings. Skips past Villa there, easily. Still going, Mings. Is he taking too long? Well, he has delivered it in. David gets it away. Douglas Luis. Jin. Luis again. Barkley. This is better by uh, Aston Villa. Suddenly they're, they're playing some good football now. El Ghazi. Looks to cut inside, but Tarb was not having any of that. And the referee has... has has given a foul for no reason, ref. Play on! What are we giving a foul for, ref? Play on, the advantage is there. What foul? Just play on, please. Pathetic. Well, there's still a lot of quality on the bench if Everton have to make changes. Still got the likes of Richarlison and Andre Gomez, so... Luigi's got the options there. But he's trying to keep a, a very rotated type of team. He wants to play uh, you know, a lot of quality when he can. Now Dinya does deliver it in first time. And Sebastian, keep it down, son. But great ball in. I mean, the run, everything, time to perfection here. He's uh, Sometimes those first-time balls, they are dangerous. I mean, it's a great run by him. Just keep it down. Dinya once again. It's a, it's a patient bit of build-up play here. And Saar fires one in. Those crosses will always cause you issues if you've got a, you know, a front man who's willing to take the gamble to get in those right places. Absolutely. Now this has worked out nicely, though, for Watkins, but he's got no support. And Kenny has calmly... Oh, you silly, silly boy! And well done, Olsen. An absolute gift nearly for Aston Villa. It was not a good clearance. Literally out of nothing. He could have given him a goal. Fed up the line. Mina gets the foot in. Mings. Up against Kenny. Majin. Grealish. This is better by Villa. Oh, they've all missed it. And they've finally just about got it away. It's all a bit of a scrap fest this half for both teams. Mings again. Grealish. They've used this left flank an awful lot, Aston Villa. But generally, it's where the problems have come from. Cleared away again. And Aston Villa have left it very late in the first half to suddenly cause Everton uh, a substantial amount of problems here. Ball's delivered in again, and oh, how's he missed that? How has he missed that header? The goal was gaping. It almost grazed the side of his head too much. And he just couldn't redirect it into the corner. Should be doing better there, El Ghazi. He'll be disappointed with that one. So away we go for another 45 minutes unchanged for either side it was eight attempts to two in the first half so Everton creating plenty of chances but unable to score as of yet Douglas Luis lets it run past him El Ghazi Watkins feeds it off to Barkley Mings Grealish back to Mings and that's going to be all day for Olsen, who's got some of the finest hands you'll ever see. This guy really puts a foot wrong, doesn't he, to be honest. Mings, and that's going to be comfortable for Olsen, who uh, 
Just about did enough there with the punch. We need to get rid of this Aston Villa. Are oh, pressing a little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit harder. For that wide, Mings. Well done, Kenny. Grealish. Heavy touch. Murphy says play on. Barrios trying to find Luigi. Barkley, and this is all much better by Aston Villa here. And Barrios, that will do. Anywhere will do. And a chance now for Grealish. How's the delivery? It's fantastic! And it's a goal for Villa. Well, if Mina's not there and Tar's not on him, I guess no one else is going to win the header. I mean, Luigi's got to be furious, to be honest, with the amount of chances we had in the first half. The ball just wouldn't go in. And then Aston Villa get a corner like this. And it's a good header, it's a good delivery. Well, Luigi is going to make changes. He's going to take off his son, bring on Calvert-Lewin, and Richarlison comes on as well. Well, Everton won't want, to, won't want to upset their winning start to the season. Their unbeaten streak is in the balance. Oh, Villa should have got there, shouldn't he? Just couldn't quite get there first. Here comes Cash. It'll be a whopper of a result for Aston Villa if they can hold on. And this could be a chance because the give and go is spot on. And that is a sensational challenge by Tarr. Will that prove dividend later? We'll see. As uh, Vez brought the foul and it should be a yellow. It was a professionally done foul, but the referee, no, no yellow. Should have been a yellow. We're on a breakaway, ref. You skip past him and we're through. Usual nonsense. Well, the final change. It's going to be in Babu on for Dinya. Ten minutes to play. Via. He's done brilliantly well. Calvert-Lewin, why is he standing there watching? Get involved, son. Barrios. David, lovely pass. And Babu. Plenty of players to choose from. Just took a little bit too long to get the ball in. David again. This is where it becomes hard, though, for Everton because there's so many players back for Aston Villa. Via lays it back to Kenny. Again, more players queuing up, looking for Hannes, flicked on. And Babu. Banios, David. Babu again. I mean, Aston Villa have tired legs at this point. Does well. Feeds it off. David. Towards Banios. Come on, boys. A chance for the corner. When you've got five minutes left, you need a big man in there. And Babu. Tart. Oh, you don't really want Mina striking it from there, though, do you? Barrios. Kenny getting in the way. Flicks it on to Villa. It's not a great ball. Grealish with half a clearance. Aston Villa are looking to hold on here. Kenny. Comes back to Villa. Tries to whip it in. He's done brilliantly well, but there's no one in the box. And Grealish gets it out. Aston Villa are holding on here quickly get the ball in there Via, great ball in oh, Calvert-Lewin gets up Watkins lays it square to Barkley and now Aston Villa they'll probably just try and wind the clock down such a such a, a fury in match this one it really is we get we, if we end up losing this but saying that there was that match the Premier League the last game that we probably didn't deserve to win it and we did so Sometimes it comes back to bite you in the backside. We are into the final minute. We can't get the ball at all here. Traore starts again. Here is Cash. Come on, lads, just pressure. No, it's not going to happen. Two minutes to play, and Aston Villa have done well just to keep the possession. And this is when you can't do a whole lot. You just keep running around like an absolute plonker, trying to get the ball. Douglas Luiz. And, uh, yep. Yeah. That looks like it's going to be the end of the match. Can't get a ball off him. Can't get a ball off him. And there we have it. First defeat of the season. Not happy about it. Not happy about it because we should have scored in the first half. That volley was this close to going in. And then there was that corner squirmish. Uh, nine attempts to five. Yeah, yeah. Should have done better. Anyway, man of the match was uh, Mr. Barkley, the goal scorer. So the other results, we only just hope that Man United lost. Uh, we'll see. Leeds lost 2-0 to Bournemouth. West Ham 2, Fulham 0. Leicester beating uh, Brighton. Wolves drawing with Newcastle. 
what's going on with Man United? I just don't understand them. 4 0 winners. Uh, Liverpool beat Southampton. Chelsea drew, though. Arsenal beat Man City. That helps us out. Uh, and Watford losing to Crystal Palace. So we dropped down to third on the old goal difference. But it's still early, early days. And uh, yeah, just, just disappointment there to lose to Aston Villa. Bottom of the table, Norwich have still not scored. Have still not got a point. So there we have it, ladies and gents. Hope you guys did enjoy it either way. Just one of those matches. One of those matches still annoys me when it when it doesn't, doesn't click for you. Uh, but we're going to be back for Newcastle as we've got a bit of Derby Day Chapter 1 going on. As they say, uh, the match against Liverpool is, uh, yeah... A, good, a big derby. Us winning derbies is the reason why the clubs, clubs, clubs fans keeps coming back. Yes, we've heard this all before. Heard it all before. Uh, we'll win our next match to show them what we're made of. I mean, you know, it really doesn't matter if you win a match before a derby or not. A derby's a derby. Uh, but that's going to be the big one. So, yeah, folks, we got some big games coming after the next few. Um, Newcastle, then we're taking on Norwich, who have, you know, been terrible. And then we've got Inter and Liverpool. Then we've got the friendlies. Then we've got Tottenham, Man City and Real Madrid all coming up back to back to back. Crystal Palace. Then we've got Arsenal and Chelsea. Ugh, it's a, it's, a, it's a crazy, crazy time, folks. But anyway, hope you guys did enjoy it. We'll return. Have a happy Christmas and everything else. And until next time. Actually, this might be out on Christmas Day. I'm not sure. Or the Christmas Eve. One or the other. Anyway, till next time. Take care.